short advice video and how we're going to use it. Okay? So, well, that's going to be y minus 7 equals 3 halves times x minus 2, right? Now, you might off to the side want it right down. Okay. Here's your information. Slope is 3 halves. X1, Y1 equals 2, 7, right? And if you want me to be sure you're doing it right, it would be a good idea to write that down. Okay? But it's more or less optional as long as you keep doing it right. Okay? But try to, try to make sure you do this. Okay, well, anyhow, there it is, right? Now you can solve for Y. Okay? Now, is this the same as this? Is this the same as this? You said this is, yeah, it is the same. Yeah. What's the difference between this and this? Well, from here you multiply both sides by x minus 2 and this is what you get, right? Okay? So if you've already got the picture, it's really quick to write x, y here, write the rise and the run from x, y to the given point, write this down, okay? It's quicker than writing out the point slope form, but you'd have to also know how to write the point slope form. This shows that the point slope form is identical to what you get if you do this. Okay? And the thing that I will repeat is that if you understand this picture and keep using it, it's going to stick with you a lot longer than memorizing a formula. Unless you have a really good memory for formulas. Okay? And the formula doesn't give you any understanding at all. The picture does picture gives you a much deeper understanding. It's as easy to use as the formula. Okay? So I recommend that you do both, and of course I'm going to ask you at least once in a test to do this using fundamental triangles. Okay? Okay. So, fairly straightforward. Now, we'll go to another example where you're given two points. Um,